Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have a pretty interesting project and it's something that's been on my mind for a while and I'm thinking about, not thinking about, I'm going to be doing it, but I'm going to take this mini griptilian blade, as you guys can see here, that I took off of my broken mini griptilian benchmade, which had a broken um, insert here. The steel insert broke basically in this thin part, so it's kind of flimsy, and I figured instead of just returning it to Benchmade and getting it fixed, why not do something different and unique and put the Griptilian blade on my uh, mini bug out scales. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. You can see that it does function when it closes, and you do have access to the spidey hole. The, the only issue I have is when it's opened up, you can see it doesn't open up all the way, so... What I'm going to have to do is remove a little bit of material right here at the top so that when it hits the stop pin, the axis bar or axis bar lock can slide over the tang and lock it in place. So what I'm going to do is use my Dremel here on the bench. Uh, I'm going to put it in my vise, uh, my table vise and just grind away just a little bit of material at a time until I get that nice... Uh, fit up and the lock bar locks in and then we're good to go so I think I think this is gonna look really cool on this knife and it's something I haven't seen before uh, I'm sure it exists but I want to give it a try and we'll see what happens now really quick before I get started I wanted to mention I do have the knife disassembled just like this that way I have access to removing that pivot pin really easily and that way I can get the blade in and out just a lot easier and I can see a lot better of what's going on inside the knife so that way I don't remove too much material and again I'm gonna remove a little bit of material at a time and I don't want to overheat this blade since I really don't want to mess with the heat treat and I don't think it'll get that hot but I'm just gonna be uh, just very patient with it and take my time so let's get to it All right, so I think I got it where it needs to be. I did a few test runs and this fits nicely. All I did was round the bit of metal up here because it was really sharp since I removed material, but now it sits or it functions very well without it being fully assembled. So what I'm gonna do now is take you guys over here on the table. We're gonna fully assemble it and see if this functions properly. So let's go do that. Alright, so here it is all assembled, and let's see if it even functions here. Okay, so it's pretty tight. That's one thing I'm noticing. And let's loosen up the pivot here. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, so it's a little better. But if I loosen it a lot, it's still kind of tight, and... Just really quick, I'm going to loosen some of the hardware that is around the pivot because if that loosens the pivot, then I'll know, yeah, it's already smooth, smoother, I can feel it, but that lets me know that the washers are too thick, so that's kind of an easy fix if you have some washers laying around, but yeah, it's a lot better. Oh yeah, it actually functions. That is pretty cool um, there it is I think it looks pretty neat it's different and before before I finished it off uh, I did round off that little bit up there so the blade sits a bit high on or above the scales but it doesn't really bother me I rounded it off so it looks good on there so you guys can see 
and I won't worry about stabbing my thumb. I'm happy that it 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 functions. So it's not a quick, easy uh, mod, if you will. And I keep hearing a noise, and I I know what it is. I'm hitting the standoff here with the tip of the blade. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove just a little bit of the tip here, just at the bottom, right there, the cutting edge, just so it doesn't hit that standoff. And I mean just a little bit, because it's barely hitting it. And let's see how the tip is on the end. Okay, so the tip actually almost sticks out. You can see it right there. So what I'm going to do actually is remove just a little bit of material off the top of the blade where it swoops down right here. And I'm going to take just a little bit. That way I don't have to worry about getting stabbed by the tip on the end of the knife when it is closed. But here, let's give it the whack test, make sure it doesn't close in on us. I mean, it's locked in there, so uh, I'm going to say it's a success. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to etch and stone wash the blade. And what I'm going to do is meet you guys up in the studio, and we'll get a closer look at this and see exactly what's going on. And since it is a success, yeah, we'll look further into it. All right, now that we're up here in the studio, we can talk a little bit more about what I did. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and anodized the titanium scales just because I figured it would look pretty cool against this dark blade and the dark hardware. So I was trying to go towards a lime green, but I ended up landing on this blue green, which I think looks really good. And the camera is not doing it justice. So I'll try to take some better pictures of it, but really, really pleased with the color. And I did end up etching and stone washing the blade, like I mentioned earlier. So one thing I learned with this mod or this modification is to, you do have to remove just a little bit of material at the tip of the blade, since the griptilian or mini griptilian blade lightly touches the standoffs. And the major mod to this blade was removing that material up here at the top so that it hits the stop pin and actually allows the lock bar to slide over on top of this tang and lock it in place. So uh, it's safe to say that this is possible. You just have to be a little patient with it. And uh, if you have a Dremel, you can make it happen. So really, really cool that this works. Uh, big surprise, I didn't think it would work, but I figured why not risk it and see what happens. One thing I forgot to mention was I did etch and stone wash the steel inserts just to match the blade. And when installing the mini bug out or the full size, basically any bench made that has these steel inserts, uh, the full linered bench maids are a little different, but I like to actually assemble it just like this with the lock bar installed with the Omega Springs. And then you have the, the stop pin installed as well. So I'll just pick a side, usually show side scale, and then I will lay it in there like that. That way you have access to installing the hardware and you just pretty much go from there. But what I'm gonna do is install both scales on top and then I'm just gonna kind of fight with the washers and the pivot pin and then just kind of work work the blade in there without actually having to disassemble everything. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna see what it looks like. All right, so here it is all assembled, and I think it turned out pretty cool. I do like the black hardware, basically everything that's dark against this blue-green anodized look. And I do like those orange accents of the standoffs. It does remind me of the Green Goblin from Spider-Man, which looks pretty cool. Um, 
yeah, let's see what this thing looks like opened up and see if it functions properly. So do the thumb flick first. It's a little stiff right now since I did tighten the pivot, but it does work, no problem. Let me just loosen this a tad bit for video purposes. Nothing too crazy. I did throw it off center. Yeah, okay, now it's just now it's just super smooth. So let's uh, tighten it just a tad. And it's it's surprisingly perfectly centered, which we all know how Benchmade is. Sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't, but that is centered. Okay, nice and smooth. And more than likely when something is this smooth, there's blade play, which, yeah, there's a little bit of blade play, but for nothing a little fine tuning can't fix, but throw some more oil in there maybe, but there it is, it actually works. I'm sure if I removed too much material, it wouldn't. So again, that's why I took my time removing the material. Uh, I did give it a fresh edge, so it is nice and sharp. And one thing I mentioned in the shop was that the washers weren't thin enough, but that's not the case. Uh, it's just, there was no oil in there and it was just really, really rough. I found out that the original washers work just fine. They are the correct thickness. Other than doing the the uh, material move, removal on the blade, it should work. Now, keep in mind, I am, I'm not really trying to promote doing this mod, but I was just curious to see curious to see if it worked, and there it is. Let me know what you guys think down below of how this thing turned out, and what we should name this thing. Um, it's either going to be the the uh, the Bugtillion or the Grip Out. Let me know which one you guys like more, but whatever you guys decide on, that is what we will call this thing. And yeah, really, really pleased with it. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys on the next one.